This is an overview video for the block party bag. Hopefully it'll get you prepared to lay your blocks out uh, to make the bag that you want to. Now this bag can be made from blocks that you have pieced, like here or here, or it can be made from just squares of fabric as we have in this bag and even in this little bag. Now you're going to need 60 of these blocks that you have pieced or the squares. The other option you have is you can make the bag out of any size block. The block or the square must be square and they must be all the same size. So this right here is made from 60 five inch squares this one is 60 10 inch squares, another 10 inch square, and this one right here is made from 8 inch squares. But the construction and the layout is all the same. The other option that you have with this bag is that you can add interfacing to make it stand up. Or you can make this bag with no interfacing at all, like this tiny little bag is made. If you want a large market basket and you want to be able to fold it up and put it in your purse and take it to market and then use it, you may want to consider not using any interfacing at all. If you want a bag that stands up better, then definitely you want to use some interfacing. I'm going to show you now what, how to lay the blocks out and what blocks will actually be your focus blocks so that when you go to piece your blocks or cut your squares, you'll know where you want to place them. So you are going to make four of these smaller pieces. There are eight blocks and they're sewn together like this. The pattern will show you how to sew them together. These are your, this is your outside uh, pocket piece. Now you have an outside pocket and a lining. On the outside pocket, your focal fa fabric is going to be here, 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 and here. It's going to be these bottom blocks. So they're going to show now notice how the two blocks on the bottom are dark. That is actually going to be the bottom of your bag. So you may want to consider using uh, a darker block on the bottom or blocks that match your binding and handle fabric. The lining for the outside pocket can pretty much be anything because the only time you're ever going to see it is when you open up that pocket. You may want to have it be bright red as a surprise. The other two pieces that you're going to construct similar to this are the inside pocket piece and the lining for the inside pocket. Again, each one is made out of eight blocks sewn together according to the pattern directions. Now, there are two other pieces that you're going to be making. This is the bag body piece. So you'll have an outside bag body and an inside bag body. Now, if you look over here, these pieces are made very similar to the outside pocket pieces with the addition of two um, extra pieces on the front, two extra pieces on the back, and one extra piece on each side. Now, these six blocks Additionally, will be your focal blocks. They will show at the top of the bag. You will make one for the outside, and you'll make a second one for the inside. Now, in some of these bags, we've actually pieced our blocks or cut squares. And in this bag right here, we've used all the same fabric on the inside of the bag for the pockets and the lining 
the inside bag body or the lining of the bag. In this one, we've made it slightly happier and we've pieced all of our blocks for the inside except for the pocket lining. Hopefully you can see that. Now, um, I'm going to move some pieces out of the way to show you how we're going to put these together. I need to take this, move this out of the way. So this is the outside bag body. These, this is the outside pocket. You're going to construct the inside the same way you are the outside and then put them together. So what you'll do is you'll take the lining and you'll flip the lining upside down. Take the outside pocket piece and place it right side up on top of that so wrong sides are matching. Then you are going to bind one, two, three, four edges of this pocket piece. That's the binding that you see right here. Then you will place this on top of your bag body. You want to match all your raw edges and pin it. You're then going to stitch all the way around the bottom and that's so that when you put something in the pocket, it won't fall through to the bottom. You'll also sew down this center seam and this center seam to delineate the two front pockets from each other. Once you have this done, uh, you can add your interfacing at this point. That's an option, but the interfacing will be fused to the back of your bag body. You can fuse the interfacing either to the outside bag body or the inside bag body. We recommend the outside bag body. Now, to continue your construction, once you've added your interfacing, you're going to fold the sides up like this. And you're going to stitch down all four seams to create the outside of the bag. You'll do the same with the inside of the bag. Nest the two together, and there'll be another video on that. Bind the top, add your ties, and add your handles. So that's the end of the overview.